Dr. Kim Logan Nolan, Speech 101, Speech Communication. The speech communication process, there are several elements of the process. The speaker, the listener, the message, the channel, feedback, interference, and situation. Why are these all so important? When a speaker gives a speech, does communication take place? Definitely. Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. The reason for the lack of universal success is that speaking and communicating are not the same thing. You can speak to a listener, but if the listener does not understand your message in the way you are meant to be understood, you have failed to communicate. Now, the speaker, like now, I'm speaking to you, my audience, and it's important that you understand the message I'm trying to convey. I want to give you a question. How are you today? That's the question. You will convey an answer to me. I'm fine. I'm doing well. And that lets me know you understood my question. You are the listener. How many listeners are there in a one-to-one -one communication process? I'll give you a few seconds. Did you figure it out? Well, there are two listeners. You, the speaker, and the person that's listening. You must listen to what you're saying and the other person should be listening to you to convey the correct message back to you. The message, I am fine. That's the message you're giving back to the speaker who asked you the question. The channels, we talked about channel in the previous video. Some of the channels, media, through texting, through cell phones, but again, you want to develop your voice. Practice in a mirror, stand up straight, Look exactly or directly at your eyes. Eye contact is crucial in speech communication process. Don't turn your head to the left or to the right, looking to the ceiling or to the floor. Look directly at the person that you're communicating with or glance around your audience. It's very important that you make eye contact with your audience to pull them into your speech. Now, feedback. You want to be able to be open to feedback. I normally say constructive feedback. I don't use the word in my classes, constructive criticism, because that criticism denotes something negative in my opinion. But you wanna be able to give feedback is the response that the listener gives to the speaker. Interference can be a horn blowing. It can be someone walking down the hall, someone outside talking. You wanna be mindful of the interference. The situation is the context, the time and place in which the communication occur, occurs. In the courtroom, it could be in church. Where is the communication taking place? The situation. I just want you to know that it's important that we as communicators, and as I tell my college students all the time, is not what you say, is how you say it. Learn to speak with clarity, good pronunciation, articulation, and be able to market yourself and get the job that you want. I'm Dr. Kim Logan Nolan, Speech 101.